If you want to take your manifestation ability to the next level, then Neville Goddard techniques will do the trick for you. Stick with me here cause in this post I'm sharing 8 of Neville Goddard's most powerful manifesting techniques you absolutely need to know. What did Neville Goddard believe and teach? God is in your wonderful human imagination. This is one of the core teachings of Neville Goddard, God is within us. Our imagination creates our reality, it is our main creative power that if we need to learn how to use it, we will create the life of our dreams. There's only one problem, God in us doesn't know right or wrong. Everything we hold in our imagination, either positive or negative, shapes our reality. Amazing, isn't it? Believe it or not, nothing is impossible to human imagination. In fact, your imagination is the one thing inside you, powerful enough to save you and change any negative situations in your life. When you discover this great power within yourself, you will boldly assert the supremacy of imagination and put all things in subjection to it, Neville said. So you understand how important it is for you to take full responsibility for your life and everything you've experienced, whether you've created it consciously or unconsciously. It is not what you want that you attract, you attract what you believe to be true. This is the main message of the law of assumption. What you assume to be true, mainly based on past experiences or what other people tell you, is what you attract into your life. So let me explain. Your vibration of your beliefs creates your life. Why? Because you always balance your desires with what you believe you deserve. It's as simple as saying you reap what you sow. But be careful. It doesn't mean that you attract what you want. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. You attract what you believe to be true on the inside. You attract your beliefs, your fears, your feelings and thoughts. For example, if you want to attract something but you deeply feel you could never have it, then guess what? You simply won't have it. To create new positive experiences and attract all that you wish for, you need to create and persist on new positive assumptions. You need to make assumptions that are aligned with what you wish to attract into your life. No matter how difficult it may seem, Goddard emphasizes the importance of persistence because assumptions eventually harden into facts. Persisting on a new assumption will cause your subconscious mind to bring this new assumption into reality. But before we delve into his techniques, there are a few tips you need to keep in mind. First and foremost, you must be clear on what it is you want to manifest. This is the foundation for all manifestation techniques. Next, find a quiet and private space where you won't be interrupted during your manifestation process. This will allow you to fully focus your mind on your desires. Now let's talk about Neville Goddard's powerful techniques for manifesting your dreams. One technique involves a breathing exercise where you imagine your friends discussing the fulfillment of your desire. As you breathe in and out, you feel an explosion of energy that signifies your wish has been sent out into the universe. Another technique involves getting into a meditative state, akin to sleep, where you can visualize your desire as if it's already happened. This is the perfect time to trick your subconscious mind into believing your visualization is your new reality. But the most important technique of all is visualization. This is where you use the power of your imagination to experience your heart's desire. But remember, you must be a participant in your visualization, not just an observer. You need to fully immerse yourself in the experience, using all your senses to bring it to life. After you finish your visualization, trust that your desire is on its way and go about your day with confidence. Remain faithful to your imaginal act and watch as your desires begin to show up in your life. So now let's begin with the techniques. The first is Neville Goddard Telephone Technique. The first simple yet powerful manifestation technique from Neville Goddard is the telephone technique. You can use this technique whenever you find yourself on the phone with a friend listening to his slash and negative thoughts about a goal they have. First things first, what you need to do is to absolutely ignore their words as they might just drag you in the same stuck state. Instead, what you should do is to totally transform their words in your mind and imagine listening to their excited voice telling you that their goal is achieved. Feel their happiness, imagine them rejoicing in their success. Persist in only hearing what you'd like to hear. You're only choosing positive loving things to enter your mind. Similarly, you can use this method for your own desires by constructing an imaginary phone call in your mind. Imagine hearing the news you look forward to hearing. Feel the feelings. Get yourself in the state of excitedly waiting for a phone call because you already know what you are hearing. You've already manifested the words you're going to receive. The second step is Neville Goddard Ladder Technique. The ladder technique is actually an experiment that Goddard himself challenged his lecture's audience to take in order to strengthen their faith in the power of manifestation. Now what they had to do is as follows. Goddard asked them, 
when they were in a drowsy state prior to sleep to imagine a ladder in front of them. Firstly, they should imagine their arms grabbing the ladder and feel the actual feeling of the grip. Then they should feel their foot stepping on the ladder and start climbing. They were supposed to climb up to the top of the ladder and then climb back down, up and down until they were asleep. But that's not all they had to do. God had also asked his audience to write an affirmation and place it where they would see it often in their day. The affirmation was, I will not climb a ladder. Several times in their day they read, I will not climb a ladder. Finally, they were told to continue their life normally, not doing anything that would deliberately cause them to climb a ladder. If in the end the person ended up climbing a ladder in real life, well, this was the greatest proof that visualization works. Why don't you try it as well? If the experiment actually works and you find yourself in a situation climbing a ladder, then your faith and your mind power will drastically increase. It will be the greatest proof that you create your reality and that manifestation actually works. The third method is Neville Goddard eavesdrop technique. Ok, so let's check another technique now. It's called the eavesdropping technique. For this technique to work, you need to imagine a group of people chatting about how you were able to achieve your desired goal. For example, let's say your goal is to get a promotion. What you should do is visualize that you hear some of your friends or colleagues saying how happy and successful you are now that you got promoted. They are talking about how lucky you are for receiving a double salary after your promotion. They are chatting on how much you impressed management, that they had no other option than to select you for the job. They are excited for you being the new manager. They go on and talk about your amazing manager qualities, saying that there is no other candidate more skilled for this job than you. You get the point, right? Work the scene in your imagination until it feels real. You'll know when you've created a new event for yourself as you're going to feel the actual feelings of your desire fulfilled. At this point, you may relax. You've done your part. Next is Neville Goddard Congratulations Technique. Goddard Congratulations Technique. The congratulations technique similarly to the eavesdropping technique is all about experiencing an imaginary act in your mind. In this case, what you need to do is to visualize a person congratulating you for achieving your goal. It can be anyone, it really doesn't matter. Imagine talking to that person. Get his voice in your mind. Congratulations or you did it or the job is yours. See his or her smile and feel the actual joy and proudness you'd feel. Listen to his or her exact words and voice tone. Feel the joy and excitement you feel in reality and listen to yourself thanking that person. Feel hugging that person. What else would you say in a situation like this? Play the scene in your mind and feel the same exact emotions you would feel. And then let go. You don't have to do anything else to obtain your desire. Any actions you might need to take will come to you naturally. Give thanks for your desire fulfilled and move on. Next method is Neville Goddard's Fast Forward Technique. This technique involves using your imagination to fast forward to a future moment where your goal has already been achieved. Imagine feeling grateful and relieved that everything worked out just as planned. For instance, if you're stressed about an upcoming exam, fast forward to the day when you receive your exam results. Imagine feeling overjoyed because you've achieved the highest grades and even your teacher calls to congratulate you. Visualize hugging your loved ones and feeling their happiness for your success. Remember, your imagination creates your reality and your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between an event happening in your mind or in real life. So use the power of your imagination to bring your desired outcome into your reality. Neville Goddard, I remember when technique. Oxo, I remember when is a manifestation technique that is not so much based on visualization rather that claims that a person makes. Let me explain. If, for example, you want to manifest money, this technique suggests that you make claims like, I remember when I didn't have enough money and I struggled financially. Making the claim implies to your subconscious that the new life event which has come to pass, the lack of it is stated by the remembrance of not having it. Now here comes the now the tricky part. For this method to work, the first key is to actually get in the mood of remembering when you did not have something and the other key is to make it feel like an actual memory. You need to feel that this is not your reality anymore. It's a past struggle that no longer exists. Feel good that your reality has changed as this is what tricks the mind to believe it. A trick to help you do that is to add time to your statement. For example, if you're claiming, I remember when I didn't have a job, then go ahead and change it to, I remember when I didn't have a job three weeks ago. This will help you feel that this event was in the past and is no longer your reality. It is important to separate the two and get in an emotional state of this being in the past and not your reality right now. Similarly with the I remember when phrase is the phrase how did I, 
How did I become so successful at my work? How did I make a million in just one year? When you ask how did I in past tense, you are thinking from the end, so you're bringing out the experience, you are not seeking an answer. So next is Neville Goddard Revision Technique. Goddard Revision Technique. The next technique we are going to examine is the revision technique. Revision is a method where you recreate in your mind a past event according to how you wish it would have gone. Whatever happened in the past that didn't go your way, you have the power to change it by using your imagination. It's the actual practice of actively using your imagination to create your reality. To practice the revision method, get into the state akin to sleep, say Tess. Then relive this event in your mind, but this time revised as you'd like it to happen. Play it in your mind over and over again until it feels like your wished experience is what actually happened. When you get that feeling, let go, confident and relax that you've done your part. Neville suggests that we practice the revision technique every night. Make it a habit to recreate your day. Just relive your day in a more wishful way until it feels as a new reality for you. Eventually, you'll start noticing your life changing and more positive events will start happening aligned with your desires and wishes. Now, number eight, Neville Goddard, I am mantra. Finally, I'm sharing a technique based on the first and basic principle of Neville's teachings. I am God. Know it deeply in your heart and turn to it whenever you feel disappointed, sad, ready to quit. I am God. I am the creator of my life. How powerful is that phrase? For me, whenever I feel disappointed or even despaired, this phrase is a lifesaver. It gives me strength and motivation for what's to come. It gets me excited to know that the real power is in my hands and that I am the only one to create my life experiences and change everything that I don't want for myself. Get up in the morning and meditate on the words I am and allow yourself to rejoice in the simple fact that you exist. I am alive. I exist. Repeat after me. I am God. I am the creator of my life. So, I hope this helped you guys. Thank you and happy manifesting.